looking at one of the coolest collaborations in the tech wars sphere the collaboration between salomon and boris bijan zaberi now i personally love boris bijan zaberi first of all he's from my hometown munich also he's an amazing designer he's a really big name in the avant-garde scene with his main label boris bijan zaberi he really focuses on like artisanal handcrafted stuff like leather jackets and stuff also has amazing pants the p13 are my favorite amazing label and then he has the 11 by boris bijan zaberi which really focuses more on tech wear he also has a lot of weird stuff like printed t-shirts and stuff which is not my cup of tea but some of the 11 pieces are amazing and i mean this collaboration come on amazing don't you think so the collaboration between salomon and boris has been going on since spring summer 17 so for quite a while now and i have to say i absolutely love the shoes i wish they would expand their line to to do like clothing as well hopefully that will happen soon i don't know and yeah probably the most famous shoe of the collaboration is the Bumba 2. Here I have the Gore-Tex version of the Bumba 2 from fall winter 2019, so the current version. I will do a review of this piece soon. Today we're talking about the Bumba 3, right, which is another unique silhouette from the collaboration between Boris and Salomon. So let's talk about sizing. I would say those run pretty true to size. I usually wear 46, European 46, which is a US 12, UK 11. That size is not available in this collaboration. I don't know why. From what I've heard, the biggest size is a UK 10 and a half US 11, which in European sizing is 45 and a third, which is really confusing. So let me just show you the label here. And I have to say like 45 and a third, that's a bit too tight for me. I wish there was a 46, there is not one. However, so this shoe is from fall winter 2018 and this shoe here is from fall winter 2019 and those are basically identical in size, right? So 45 and a third, but as you can see, the Bamba 2 is a bit bigger. I've talked to many shop owners and what I've heard is that not the Bamba 2 in general is bigger than the Bamba 3, but their later releases just run a bit bigger, right? So fall winter 2019 runs a bit bigger than fall winter 2018, which is good for me because this size suddenly fits and that's a bit tight. And looking at the sole, you can really see the dyeing process, right? So Boris Bijan Zaberi is famous for his object dyeing, right? So object dyeing is basically the process of dyeing after the product is done. So they basically create the whole shoe, stitch everything together until the shoe is finished and then they dye the whole piece at once. And the interesting part about this is that every material reacts differently to the dye, right? So every part, as you can see here on the, on the shoe, every material looks different, even though the same dye is used. The color is pretty amazing. Just beautiful, dark, burgundy color. To me, that was the best color of the Bamba 3. Those are the insoles, which I have to remove because otherwise the shoes don't fit me. So let's look at the shoe closer. Maybe uh, start off with the top. So we have a YKK waterproof zipper on top here. Which you can basically open to reveal the lacing system. And as for lacing, Salomon's quick lacing system is used here. Then the upper is made out of a polyutherine, um, which is kind of a rubberized fabric. That's pretty much waterproof. Then you have an inner sock liner made out of polyester, which is really breathable and stretchable as well. In the front here, you see the Salomon Aslab logo. And in the back, you see an adjustable heel support system. The heel system from the back here attaches to the front via Velcro, right? So you can basically adjust the size of the shoe, which is awesome. So you have two mechanisms for adjusting the size, right? So first of all, the quick lace system and then the cage in the back. You have the 11 and the Salomon logo in the front and Salomon's contact grip sole, which really provides great grip. And the shoe is really lightweight, I have to say. Like it doesn't look that lightweight, but it really is lightweight. So as you guys know, I love to test my products, right? I wanna see if they deserve to be tech wear, right? So they have to have a function for me. What I want to do with this shoe is I wanna to go to the mountains, go for a hike, see if the shoes really protect you from the elements, right? We have a lot of snow outside, so we can see how waterproof they really are. And we test the soles and see how the grip is. So let's go.
grip is pretty good soles are awesome the cushioning is, is great as well um, I haven't had a chance to test the the waterproofness yet because there's no snow yet but hopefully we'll get up soon and encounter some snow and test the waterproofness but so far first impressions really good shoe really comfortable great for casual hike and obviously it looks cool Conclusion for the Bumper 3, it's an awesome shoe, great grip, even on icy and snowy conditions, never failed me. The construction really held up in the mountains, no water came in, at least until here, right? Obviously that part here, the, the color is not waterproof. Up until here, you're basically good to go. The grip was really nice as well, held up fine. I definitely approve of this shoe, I think it looks cool, good functionality awesome shoe. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see like how the Bumper 3 compares to the Bumper 2. Right, obviously those are very different shoes. You can see just from grip alone that those are very different. But yeah, that's for another video. I hope you enjoyed this review today. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want to. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Number one competition is me.